And now to a new chapter in my favorite, the beloved Outlander series. Author Diana Gabaladon's long-awaited ninth book, Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone, is about to be released. And Kaylee Hartung sat down with her for the inside scoop on the book. Plus, what's next for the show? Hey, Kaylee. Hey, Amy. For more than 30 years now, Diana Gabaldon has been researching and imagining to create the world of Outlander. And with some help from a hit TV show, she's built a dedicated legion of millions of fans around the world. Now, only on GMA, insight into her ninth book, 888 Pages of an Escape. What happens when you mix time travel, historical fiction, and a love story for the ages? You get the phenomenon called Outlander. The hit star show based on author Diana Gabaldon's wildly popular novels that have been translated into 38 different languages and sold over 50 million copies across 114 countries. And now fans are buzzing with excitement over Gabaldon's long-awaited ninth Outlander novel, Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone. And this will be at home. American Revolution threatens to tear apart time cross lovers Jamie and Claire. All of my books have a shape, I think, in geometrical shapes. This book is shaped like a snake, and uh, it has coils of the loops of different people's stories that keep coming back. And uh, the beginning of this story is not the snake's head, <laughs> it's the tail. You wrote your first book for practice. I did. Not yeah. thinking anyone would read it. Now, does practice make perfect? Nine books in? Well, I'd like to hope I'm getting better, you know. <laughs> People always say, which one is your favorite book? And I say, it's the one I'm working on, because <laughs> it's the one where I don't know everything yet. I wake up every day and I find that I love you more than I did the day before. The first book could be called a romance because it is a courtship story. And I said, you know, it seems obvious what makes people fall in love. I said, I've never seen anyone literarily uh, try to tell a story explaining why people stay in love. What does it take to be married for 50 years? Responsibility is the mm -hmm. word you, you, you've used to characterize this book. What did you mean by that? Well, people hold a lot of different responsibilities in their lives, especially in times of stress, war, you know, famine, etc. Someone's got to lead, you know, and uh, how, how do you do that? Claire, for instance, is a healer. This is what she does. And Jamie, on the other hand, he's a warrior. He's a leader. He feels responsible for everybody all of the time. <laughs> Droughtlander is nearly over, with season six of the show, which Gabaldon consults on, set to premiere early next year. Can you give fans anything to look forward to? They're going to enjoy season six, I can tell you that much. It's a terrific season. Uh, they were able to keep very, very closely to the book story, which will please all of the book readers. And it's a very exciting part of the story, which will please all of the show only readers and so forth. But uh, our actors have truly come into their own. They were always great, but you know, they, and they're like the books, they get better with each succeeding season. It's almost here. So Diana is already hard at work on her new favorite book, the 10th and final Outlander novel. She tells me she knows the very last scene of the series, but she doesn't know how she's going to get there just wow. yet. Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone is out tomorrow. Oh, Amy. This is so exciting. I'm, this has just made my whole day. Thank you so much, Kaylee. <laughs>